All right, shalom, good afternoon, boys here. Wow. How's it going today? It's a, it's a beautiful day. It's like in the 80s. I mean, just a, it's just a nice picturesque day, and it's, it's a beautiful thing to be able to, you know, be in the country. And this is my commute. I mean, today I've been to like five different places I had to go to to check a couple of things out, um, handle some business. But this is typically the commute uh, that I have. I mean, I mean, when you look, it's just clear skies. It's uh, farms, homes, uh, crops, uh, no traffic, and I just get to coast. And you know, it's a blessing because you know, being from the city, you know, I remember walking fast and going fast everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I used to walk fast, always in a rush, always looking at the at the uh, at the watch. Uh, everything is timed down to the minute. Uh, it's just not a good way to live, you know. It's not really a good way to live, and you know it's amazing. I look back at it, I felt just like Neo in the Matrix, you know. You're going through these motions uh, of living uh, life. And it it really ain't life at all. I mean, having a corporate background, uh, making good money, being able to do the things that my flesh desired in the city, it wasn't a problem. It was a beautiful thing. But even after a time, just because of the environment itself, it gets to you. And that's why it's so beautiful to be set apart Uh, and to move out, you know, into these less densely populated areas like the country where you ain't got to worry about a whole bunch of foolishness. Um, but it feels good to not be in a rush because now, before I was always in a rush looking at my watch, now I'm not in a rush. Now I can just go and be uh, and go to and fro without having to punch into a clock, have somebody rush me. I set when I show up uh, at a job site. I set when I go and get something to eat. I set when I leave. <laughs> Uh, the client don't set that. I just let them know what's going to happen. And, and we work it from there. Uh, I set what I'm going to do during the day. Uh, I set how long I'm going to do it. It's just a, a, a way of just living free, you know. So, I mean, this is the biggest traffic uh, I've had. Look at this guy. But the idea is that, hey, I ain't got the speed pass. I'm in no rush. When I get there, I'll get there. And that's one of the hallmark staples of, of being a, being somebody that lives free. Because when you live free, you know, you don't have to uh, be in a rush uh, for anything. I mean, I, I, I look at how free men live and it's just a, a, a beautiful thing to watch. Uh, they're not pressed about where they need to be. Uh, they'll get there when they get there. When they get there, they'll decide how long they're going to want to get there. All of that good stuff. You know, you don't have to worry about this. It's amazing. I don't know, you know, probably some old person who will get past him because other people are behind me. <laughs> an old lady driving. It's always an old lady. <laughs> a little old lady driving. But you know, you're not in a rush. And she got like eight cars behind her and everybody trying to get, get the way they're getting. But you're not in a rush. And it feels good not to be in a rush, not to be stressed. Uh, because that's all I used to experience in the city. Um, having to be on work on time, having to leave work on time, having to uh, be on appointments and conference calls on time. You know I mean? That was just a part of the of the life, but... It feels good, again, just not to be in a rush. Um, To go to and fro and just handle your business uh, and not have to worry about anything. Not have to worry about punching no clock. Not have to worry about uh, a whole lot of things. Uh, It changes your whole perspective in life. And it it, it definitely gives you uh, a more clear picture of how we should be living as opposed to how we lived in the past. And, you know, being able to make a transition from 
being in the city and being totally dependent on the system to now being in the country and being totally independent of the economic system. Uh, bondage and slavery, debt, um, all this high taxation is sad. Uh, but being able to be set apart in such a way that none of these things affect you. You know, you're not worrying about whether or not you can uh, put a roof over your head. You're not worried about whether or not you can put gas in the car or maintain or take care of your responsibilities and knowing whether or not, you know, your children are going to go hungry. Because in this day and age, not only are people uh, oppressed and depressed and stressed uh, and obsessed about these things, they're in a rush all their lives. There's no, there's no time to pause and just sit back and just enjoy the scenery. Uh, to live a life of no rush. Uh, you know, we have a certain sense of urgency to get things done, but you know, overall, you know, not having to rush, not having to be stressed about these things. It's just one of the freest feelings in the world. It's one of those things where. You know, you can tell because a lot of people they they carry it on their on their spirit. Uh, they have so many worries and concerns, uh, just a bunch of worldly things, uh, and these things can be controlled, uh, provided that you're willing to make the sacrifice. Uh, but some people, you know, I mean, you know, a slave that that loves his chains uh, has no need to be free, and a lot of people they just love their chains because they, that chain comes with all of the modern day conveniences that debt and uh, being in debt gets you, you know, uh, you know if you want to drive a nice car sure you can drive a nice car you can lease or make monthly payments on it being in debt uh, you want to live in a nice neighborhood or, or buy a nice home and, uh, hey, you can get a 30 year mortgage and pay the interest on it or rent. You can you can do those things uh, to live in a nice neighborhood, to drive the nice car. I mean, hey, if you want to have a nice trip, now they offer financing for vacations. I mean, I was I was shocked, but you can get a loan for a vacation now, which a lot of people are doing. Uh, you can finance pretty much anything. I, yeah, it's interesting. You can finance or make monthly payments on credit repair. <laughs> and they even take monthly payments. Isn't it amazing? This stuff is shocking. But this is what's going on. Um, stressed. And, and being in a rush for everything, being in a rush for uh, all these luxury items, and it's going to cost us. It, it, it costs you high in interest. It costs you because you got to pay. You got to pay the piper. And this is what happens when people are in a rush. They they live above their means, uh, and it's all coming coming crashing. It's all it's all ending now. And what you got at the end of it? Nothing. Nothing to show for it. Uh, because you were in a rush to live a lifestyle that you couldn't afford. I'll tell you, it's a sad deal, but um, as for me, nah, I'd rather be free uh, because free people are not in a rush. Free people are not uh, stressed about all of these things that it clearly in this economic collapse that we're experiencing uh, and the individuals that I see that are experiencing it, you know, it's always the same story again and again and again. It's always the same story. Um, following the, the rules of this system will get you the, the poverty and the debt of this system. Oh, you'll enjoy it for a little time, but hey, at the end of the day, you got to write the check. You got to pay the bill. Why? Because you was in a rush.
to live an illusion that you can no longer maintain. An illusion collapses and all you have is time. But it's idle time. And now you fall into different things. I'm telling you, man, it's serious when you look at this stuff. Where it leads you. But when you're willing to work hard and stay consistent, persistent, and follow a, a, a model that works, uh, you can not be in a rush. I tell you, that's a blessed thing. How many of you out there are not in a rush? And tell me why. I'd like to know. Shalom.